and hello YouTube, GS Mountain Smart here, and in today's video we're going to teach you how to use Adobe Audition to dynamically fade in and fade out parts of a song in your timeline. There's several ways you can do it, several easy ways to do this also, and you actually have a lot of control over your fade in and fade outs. That's coming up next. What's up guys, GS Mouse Smart here, today with another brand new video for Tutorials with GS. Glad to have you, thanks for stopping by and welcome to another video. If you haven't been new to the channel, new to my videos, I want to welcome you as well. And I also encourage you to subscribe to the channel, plenty of other tutorials on the channel. Lots of audio editing tutorials, video editing tutorials, image editing tutorials. We have tutorials on the Adobe Suite, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Audition, for free programs even, GIMP, Audacity, Windows Movie Maker, all kinds of cool tutorials. So if you're interested in that, go and hit that subscribe button as well as that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the most recent videos. So here we are in Adobe Audition, and I have a popular pop song here by Rihanna. Hopefully YouTube does not copyright me for tutorial purposes. But you'll see that at the start of this song and at the end of the song, there is no real fade in or fade out. If we take a quick listen to the beginning of this, you'll see it actually starts fairly normal. So that's the beginning there, no real fade in. And the fade out is sort of an abrupt stop in the guitar and it just sort of slightly fades out. So here's the end of this. So as you can see, no, no real huge fade out, it's a slight fade out, it's very abrupt though. So if you wanted to actually create a fade in or a fade out for a specific track, if you're doing mixing, if you wanna combine certain songs, if you're trying to create a audio, uh, file for a video and you have multiple songs in there you want to fade them in and fade them out as they you know change from one song to another then you want to use fade ins and fade outs they're really neat to have in audio and there's actually a really easy way to do this with a button on the timeline here or on the little waveform here that a lot of people actually don't notice and it's these two buttons up here you have a button at the very top here at the beginning of the track and you have a button at the top at the very end of the track. If we zoom out all the way, you'll see that both of the buttons, move this to the side real quick, you'll see that both of the buttons are actually one here and one here. And what you'll notice is that as we select, click on this little square here, and if we move it, you'll see that it slowly starts to dynamically change as we move, we see the waveform also change. Now, there are several ways you can configure this uh, this option here is button. You can move left and right and depending on how far left and right you move will depend on how far this fade will go, how long it takes. You can also move this up and down as you can see. We can make it logarithmic and exponential. So if we move it up, you'll see that it actually takes longer for the fade to go from its lowest to the highest. If we move it down, however, it actually is very quick from going to the lowest point to the highest point. So there are a lot of different ways you can configure this fade in and fade out. It gives you a lot of control over your fade in and fade out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, quickly do a slight fade. You could you could use this option. There are several different options as well. You can use that go in just a second. But say I wanna do a regular, a quite a somewhat standard fade in just like that, uh, sort of log logarithmic a bit. And if we take a listen now, As you can see, slowly it starts getting louder and louder. However, if I wanted to go and you know make this uh, wider, for example, and make this further, you'll see that this takes a lot longer to get louder. It'll start very low and it'll stay at the level for quite a while. As you can see, it's still very low here. We still don't hear it very well. It's still at a very low point, and now it starts to actually gain volume. So you have a lot of control over your fade in and fade out with these two buttons here. And you could very easily do a fade in here and then you can go to your very end and you can do a fade out uh, like maybe something like something like that. And we take a listen to the end here. Me, 
So as you can see, there's a bit more prominent fade. There's a bit more of a prominent fade out there. However, those are only two options. You have several other options as well. One of them is in the effects. You can go to amplitude and compression. And here you have the fade envelope and the gain envelope. Now these two effects are very similar in that they can essentially do the same thing. However, you want to be using fade envelope when you want to reduce the amplitude by varying amounts over time. So if at one point of the song, you want to reduce your amplitude a certain amount and another point of the song, you want to reduce it by a, a larger amount or a lower amount, then the fade envelope is what you want to use. However, if you want to change the amplitude over time in general, you want to use the gain envelope instead of the fade envelope. So what you'll see that you can actually add this effect to your entire track. So we go to effects, uh, amplitude and compression and we go to fade envelope, it actually goes across the entire track here. And there's several, pre there's several presets here that you can choose from as well. The one you just saw was the zigzag one. If you go ahead and make a selection, you'll see that the selection actually, uh, you'll see that the effect actually sticks to this selection here. And whatever preset you select here, whatever adjustments you make will only be towards that selection. And another really cool thing is that you can actually change these points here if you wanted to and create new points and move points that are already on the graph here to different positions, as you can see. So you have, you have a lot of more even, you have a lot more control even in uh, certain effects like these right here. And you can see when you press apply, there's some drastic changes here. As you can see, let's, maybe we can play a small portion here. So as you can see, there's a sudden huge jump in volume that's very abrupt here. So you can even create certain effects like that with some of the more advanced fade in and fade out uh, effects such as gain envelope and fade envelope. And very similar, the gain envelope does the exact same thing as the fade envelope does, only that it's uh, more general. It doesn't do it by varying amounts, it just does it over time. So if we do something like the gain envelope, and as you can see here, I just messed around a little bit with one of the presets here, so it looks kind of messy. But they also have plenty of presets, and you see a lot of these tend to deal with, in general, over time, the change in uh, amplitude here, rather compared to the fade envelope, which has a bit more a change to it in varying different amounts. So if we go and apply this, you can see that this also changes the way the song looks. It's a bit louder here in this part of the song compared to before and several other presets here as well. And very similarly, you can even create your own presets here and make them uh, however large and small you want. As you can see, this when you're tweaking these lines, uh, there's a bit less control over the amount that you can uh, you know, move it up or down compared to the fade one. And this is because this effect is mainly used for over time, changing the amplitude over time. As you can see, a pretty weird shape here, but if we go ahead and apply this actually, you'll see the result is actually pretty unique and it's very noticeable. So if you're looking for simple fade-ins, simple fade-outs, something special or classy, then just use these two uh, little icons here at the top and you can create your fade-ins and fade-outs as crazy or as simple as you want them to be. If you want some more control, if you want some more fine tuning, if you want some you know more crazy type of fade in, fade outs, you wanna make it more unique, then you do have the option to use the uh, fade envelope and the gain envelope under the effects and the amplitude and compression setting, which allows you to dynamically change the fade over the entire track or simply by only highlighting a portion, you can then change it only in that portion of the track as well. So that pretty much covers everything in the tutorial today. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. Hopefully you learned how to fade in and fade out in complex ways and in simple ways. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions, feedback, leave in the comment section down below. I'll be down there answering your questions as usual. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to any of other audition tutorials on a channel for you to enjoy. If you want to check out my most recent video, click the annotation here. If you want to check out a similar video, so this one, click the annotation here. If you want to check out my other channels, such as the gaming or vlogging channel, the annotation's right here. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so by clicking the annotation here. That's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching as always. This is GS Mouse Smart and I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.